it's always a good idea to preview your quiz to see what it looks like to a student. Let's fill in the answers. We'll answer the first one correctly, the second one incorrectly. This is going to be the library, and the four learning styles are visual, auditory, reading, writing, and kinesthetic. One thing I'm noticing about this question is that because the V is already there, the student might just type the remaining letters. I'm going to have to edit this question to eliminate that problem. Here in question 5, I seem to have two extra choices. That's odd, don't know where they came from, but that needs fixing. Let's put in some choices here. Oh, I've also misspelled the word independent. I'll have to fix that as well. And for question six, three of my goals will be do things on time, read the book more carefully, and balance my work and academics. Submit the quiz, and we can see the feedback. There's the comment that went with the incorrect answer, by the way. Now that we've seen the preview, it's time to edit the quiz. We'll edit, go to the Questions tab. For Learning Styles, I'll click the pencil icon to edit the question, and I'll say V stands for, A stands for, and by separating the acronym letter from the student response, there's a better chance that they're going to type the entire word. I'll update that question. And here, in my matching example, there are my two extra entries. I'll click the trash can on both of those, update the question, save the quiz, and preview it again. Let's go for true, get the right answer here, library, visual, auditory, read-write, and kinesthetic, and I'll answer some of these incorrectly, if not all of them. And for the three goals, manage time, balance work and academic, and have a good time at school. and submit the quiz, and check to see how it went. Looks good. And that's the preview and edit process for your quizzes.